G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am going to go again with the Larimar Effect um, for my resin coaster. I'm using my fine line, fine line, fine live edged coaster mold. And I am going to start with pouring my white into the base like so. Now I am using the Platinum Ultra Clear uh, resin. It's a very thin resin. I don't think I stirred that very well. I can see streaks <laughs> probably stuck around the outside of the cup. Better get that mixed in. Um, yeah, so the white, I have just mixed in some Cast and Craft white pigment paste. Um, it's kind of just a, a milky white. It's still transparent. Hopefully I haven't got any streaks in there. So that's that one. Um, and then I have got some black. Um, I added a little bit of the Cast and Craft black pigment in there. Um, still transparent. I probably should have put a bit more in. But for some reason, it's my new bottle and it doesn't seem to be colouring very well. I've had this layer of oil over the top, so it's probably, yeah, it might not be um, mixed properly. I think I'm going to leave it upside down for a while. I think the oily stuff's on top. But anyway, we'll see how we go. It's done. So um, into the white, I am just going to add my black. It's more of a grey, really, isn't it? Not really a, a black, but anyway, we'll see how we go. And then I've got my blue, also still transparent. Everything's transparent. This is Color Passion Ocean, it's called. It's a resin tint. Although it's doing its thing, let's add that. And that will push everything back again. And then as you can see, it's all coming back into the middle already. I'm going to leave a tiny bit. I might add that later to the middle. And then just my leftover. I've got a bit of clear leftover. And uh, again, I'm just going to actually pour from up high a little bit and see if it makes any difference. I don't know. <laughs> pour from up high. So look at all the bubbles I've got though. Oh, I made bubbles. Get out. All right, so as you can see, the resin's pulling in again like it should. Uh, you get that with a very thin resin. And now what I'm going to do is just with a little stick, I'm just going to fill in all my little druzy crystal edges there. Just give it a little bit of a helping hand. It probably will do it on its own, but I'm just going to give it a helping hand. Just spread that. So I made up uh, this mold takes just over half a cup. So I made that up. Alrighty. I can see the bubbles collecting in the center. So once I've done this, I'll give it another little torch. I will link this mold in my description down below if anyone wants it. I've got the fine one and also um, the chunky one, which is a little bit chunkier, <laughs> obviously, on the sides. Bigger crystals. Okay, so that's that done. Give that a torch. All right. Um, now I'm just wondering, just wondering, I've got a little bit of this blue left over. I might just put that in the middle actually, just so that I have something a bit darker in the center. I don't know whether or not it'll help, but let's just do that. Probably in about half an hour or so, um, I'll come back and just give the centre a little bit of a swirl. There we go. See, instead of putting crystals or something like that, I'm just going to put a little bit of that blue. It looks very, it looks very transparent. I don't know whether it's going to work. My black was a bit, oh, my black was too transparent. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, hopefully it will still work. Um, my others, uh, my colours were quite dark. Um, and I'm just going to see if it, if it makes any difference, you know, if it's a little bit lighter. But look, I didn't have a choice. The black did not want to go black. Oh, anyway. All right. Um, 
If you want to see the exact recipe for all this, I will link uh, resincourses.com down below. That's where I learnt it. It's their recipe, not mine, so I'm sorry I can't share it with you, which I'm sure you can understand, but I will link it down in the description um, if you would like to take that course. And I've also got a coupon code there, so you can get a 10% discount. All right, let's see what happens to this in about um, an hour's time, hey? Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Look at that. Is that not just divine? Oh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I'm, I've almost finished making my coaster uh, mould that's got the live edge, but straight down so that I can use the top or the bottom because oh, I would love to use that as the top, but I can't with this particular mould because um, the sides are sloping, see? So can't use the top. I mean, I guess you could. You could put it like that, but it's just, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? So anyway, I'm going to make another coaster mold so that I can use the top or the bottom. All right. Oh my gosh. If it's anything near as nice as this, oh, I'll be doing the happy dance. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, look at it. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. It's just like, it's just that pale muted blue, isn't it? We've got the blue on the outside. We've got the lighter blue, a little bit of turquoise in the middle. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. I actually don't know which side I prefer. <laughs> Do you guys know which side you prefer? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So we get that real veining through there on this side. And on that side, it's a little bit more subdued, but the veining's still there. Wow. But this is the side that we're going for. This is the Larimar effect of that uh, stone. I had to Google what a Lam Larimar stone was, and that it looks like that. It's so pretty. All right. Um, should we do some silver on it? Yes, with our silver pen. Let's do that just a little bit. I don't know if I've done, have I done the silver on the fine one? I think I've only done the silver on the chunky one. I might have. I just, I really like just doing the top edge in the um, silver or golds, gold or, or copper, just in a corresponding sort of a colour. I just think it makes it pop. And it kind of gives you... This is the area here where you put your, your cup. That's your coaster area. Um, and then that's, you know, the side. It just sort of, I don't know, defines the two areas, I think. So, yeah. And besides, it gives that a little bit of extra bling. Go around. It doesn't have to be totally, totally... Perfect. My sides aren't quite set yet. I was too impatient. I only bought this this morning. I was too impatient. And so I'm just going around the top edge. You can make it as thick or as thin as as you want. I have to put on a piece of plastic though, so it doesn't set on my sheet here. <laughs> my plastic sheet. All right. I think that's about it. Um, I don't think I'm going to go onto the stone too much, she says, as she goes onto the stone. I haven't gone onto the stone at all. I've only just sort of done the top, so I may do a little bit of stonage here, just a little bit. Go over the edge now. So I've done the top edge, now I'm kind of doing the side a little bit, just to pick up a little bit of those crystals, a druzy kind of crystal there. Do you guys like this mold? It's pretty cool, hey? <laughs> I can't believe I make it. Sometimes I surprise myself. I think, oh, I'm going to try this. It takes me a while to do it, but I'll get there in the end. There we go. How's that? Oops, a little bit soft. All right. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. Oh, I need to fix up this little bit here. A little bit there. Where that stone is. There we go. 
all right fiddling fiddling so there we go let me know what you think of this one and um yeah definitely do some more i'm really enjoying these i haven't got it totally totally right yet perfect i don't know if i can ever get it perfect but um i'm pretty happy with these so far but um yeah i'll keep going because they're so much fun <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you all again for the next video real soon. Take care. Bye for now.